Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use this palette to create the look that I'm wearing right now. So if you want to see how I made this look, just keep watching. Today I'm going to be using this palette that I got at Ulta a couple days ago. It's by this brand that I never learned how to pronounce, so I'm not going to try. I think it's called California Dreaming Palette or something like that. Anyway, that's what I'm using today. And I'm going to start by setting my whole eyelid with the color Cozy. So I really need to get better at explaining what I'm doing, otherwise it isn't really much of a tutorial as much as just showing you how I put my makeup on. Um, that step, just setting your eyelid, can be done with just about any brush and whatever eyeshadow fits your skin tone. But next, I'm going to be going in with this big fluffy brush and going up into the crease to start putting down transitional shades, which help the darker shades blend out easier later. I'm going to be taking the color Bonfire, which is a light pink. And with just like windshield wiper motions, putting that in the crease and outer corner of my eyelid. To start adding some depth, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Hot Toddy, and I'm going to apply it with a slightly smaller brush than the one that I just used, but basically put it in the same areas, focus on the outer corner, and sweep it up into the crease with those windshield wiper motions again. I'm going to use a MAC 217 to blend that out because if that doesn't blend out well on my skin, it doesn't really matter if the other ones blend out well. Now to add more depth to the outer corner and the crease, I'm going to use a Morphe M139 brush to apply this shade Cable Knit right here. I'm applying it in the outer corner and the crease. And you always want to place your brush where you want to deposit the most color. So if you want to accentuate the outer corner, you start here. Not here and try to blend out this way, it'll be a lot harder to do. So deposit the color where you want it the most, and then start bringing it over into the areas where you want a little bit of color to be. Okay, this looks like a hot mess, but blending is a wonderful thing. I'm going to go back in with my MAC 217 and blend out all those harsh edges. A lot of people ask me how my eyeshadow is so well blended, and this is how. It takes a bit of time to blend out the colors as opposed to just, you know, 
going like that and it being done because it's not that simple maybe it is for some people but for me it takes a while so don't get discouraged if it doesn't look great when you apply it now to add the last little bit of definition to the outer corner I'm gonna be taking this shade right here called boots and applying it sparingly in the outer corner and then blending it out Finally, I'm going to apply this beautiful lid shade right here called Kitty Cat. And I'm going to use a regular packing brush for this. And like everything else, put your brush where you want to deposit the most color and then you can move the product around from there. Now that we have that color applied up to the edges of the outer corner and the crease, we're going to blend that together so that it just looks more cohesive. The colors in this palette are really buttery and pigmented but they do cause quite a bit of fallout, so I'm gonna clean underneath my eye, and then we can work on the lower lash line. First, we're gonna go underneath with this shade here along the whole lower lash line. I'm going to take a smaller, more precise brush. I'm using the Real Techniques Accent Brush, and we're going to use this shade here, just on the very outer corner of the lower lash line, to keep the outer corner dark. Now on my brow bone and my inner corner, I'm going to be applying Sandcastle, which is this shade right here. I'm not going to do a wing with this look because I feel like it would take away from the eyeshadow, but if you want to, you can. I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and lashes, and I will show you guys the finished look in a second. And this is the final look. Hey guys, I'm recording this part off my phone because my camera just died, 
but this is the final look. I'm not wearing foundation because my skin's breaking out so I didn't really want to put foundation on it because I don't like the way that feels. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.